Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Coffee with Carl. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the best practices for structuring a joint venture deal. Um, for most of you, this some of this will be review, some of it will be building on some existing knowledge, but let's hit the basics first. So first part is, de it depends on the type of business you're joint venturing. So first we're gonna look at the type of income that would be generated from the type of business you're looking to set up with your partner. If it's something, say, for house flipping, uh, or some or wholesaling or something that, or, you know, maybe just a services-based business that would generate what we would term as active income or income subject to self-employment tax. A lot of times we're going to set up that basic LLC that's going to hold the business in the state it's working and then have that LLC owned by your corporation and your partner's corporation to make sure for tax purposes the income's flowing the right way so you don't get your your uh, your, your tail in a sling with the IRS. Um, from a passive investing side if we're talking about a joint venture you would still have that basic LLC that will be in charge of the local deal so say if we're you know, I don't know partnering with somebody on a fourplex or something like that I would set the LLC up in the state where the fourplex is located because the LLC is going to hold title to that property and then that state specific LLC would be owned by my Wyoming holding company and my partner's Wyoming holding company now hopefully your partner uh, is working with us as well and is aware of the strategies um, a good, I guess a good point to mention as well is if they're not, we're happy to have a consult with them as well and get them set up for to be, you know, stay safe and tax advantage as possible as well. It's always great to bring people along with you on the journey as you're learning and figuring out how to do, you know, sort of from a best practice standpoint, how to position yourself and your business for long-term success and gain. So. We want to make sure we touch on all those pieces um, on every, basically every strategy session or call with the attorneys or advisors. We're trying to look at those different items every time you add something to your structure. So when you add a single project or a joint venture, we still try to find the best way to connect all those pieces so it's easiest for you to maintain as well as gives you the maximum level of protection. So where we can get anonymity in there, where we can get asset protection, where we can get the best tax treatment, why, why wouldn't you want that? So we try to do that every time you bring us a new project. So when you have those new projects, it's always important to make sure you're reaching out to your advisor or one of the attorney team or one of the attorneys on the attorney team to make sure that you're getting sort of the best setup where it is. Because the places where it sort of goes haywire is where folks um, you know, you've sat, you've invested to set up a good entity structure, and then all of a sudden you get a wild hair and want to go rogue, <laughs> and you start having a couple investments outside of the structure, or you met somebody at a RIA meeting who t tells you you should be doing it this way, um, and then you have this weird thing where nothing's blended correctly, and so we want to avoid that where we can. So like I said, easiest way to do that is stay engaged with all of our free education opportunities uh, as well as keep up to date with our YouTube offerings as well. We do most everything virtual at this point, so it's super easy to keep up with us. And then like I said, when you find that next deal, if it's something out of the ordinary or something you haven't done before, especially, make sure you reach out so we can make sure everything falls under the same umbrella and falls efficiently where you want to go. So with that being said, as usual, please remember to like and subscribe, share, tell a friend. We love do doing free content for everybody. Uh, we just want to make sure it gets shared with lots of people um, so you can, you and your friends can take advantage of it. So until the next time, thank you everyone and we will catch you on the next Coffee with Carl. Bye.